about, um, sorry, DC and Jim, Jimmy Manawa. And by next week, that's old news. That's true. All right, let's get into it. I love it, dude. Yeah, I didn't know how you, I didn't know. I know it's 10 o'clock at night. You're in Thailand. You, oh, you I, know. Don't. I don't know I don't what's care. happening. We're sat here. Listen, I don't mind. You know, we sit and have a good discussion and uh, we talk some stuff and whatever. You know, I, if I ever need to go, I'll just say, Lewis, or I'll text you. So let's, let's wrap this up. But, uh, um, well, we talked about it last week. DC, uh, impressive win again. First, second round, first round or oh, second round, second, second round, round, second round. Um, Jimmy Manor was there in a particularly cool Gucci tracksuit. I've got to say, which, which DC mentioned, but I, I thought, nah, man, I, I thought that tracksuit was cool. Um, and anyway, it looks like that fight's happening because Jimmy was in, he was in Vegas this week. He said he signed the papers and he said to DC online on Twitter. Come on, accept the fight. DC said, yep, I've accepted it. Don't you worry. They talked a bit of shit back. So it's looking like that is the next defense for DC. What's your thoughts there, Lewis? Uh, I look, I like it. I mean, I'm not I'm not super convinced that Jimmy Mano was going to get it done. Um, I, you know, I think DC, to be honest with you, DC, with the exception of John Jones, and to be honest, I don't even know at this point. With John Jones, the way he came back against OSP, he seemed a little rusty. DC seems yeah. to be just continuously improving. He fuck he looked he was the best version of himself in that Anthony Johnson fight in my opinion. Um I just I don't know. I don't see anybody but John Jones being able to get the job done and even with John Jones now there's a huge question mark surrounding it. So yeah, do I I don't want to see DC sit on the sidelines and yeah. wait for Jones, but to be honest with you, I'm more interested in seeing the more competitive fight with Jones. Well, for DC it's great because listen, I, I and I'm I've got to be very careful how I word this obviously. Um, you know, Manor is part of the UK massive, and 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 I support all UK fighters, and it would be just amazing to have a second UK, UK champion. I say that, but I don't know if I really mean it. It's kind of nice being the only one. <laughs> but no, <laughs> listen, I, I'm cheering for him big time. It would be amazing for another UK champion. Um, but listen, um, DC has to be the favorite in that fight, and I think he would be a huge favorite. Um, uh, we saw um, what's his face Rumble out wrestled Manawa at the start of the fight to get Jimmy tired and then it, and then he went in for the knockout in the second round, I believe. You've just got to imagine that DC's going to take him down and do that. Now, Jimmy, of course, has a puncher's chance. Of course he does. And man, he has a bigger puncher's chance than anybody that usually has a puncher's chance. The guy hits hard. He says one shot, one kill. You know, he's capable of knocking out DC, but you, you've got to favor DC in that fight. Uh, but I wish Jimmy all the best. Now, for DC... It's a very smart tactic to take the fight against Manawa because obviously he sees himself as the favorite. He obviously sees himself out wrestling him and taking him down just like he did against uh, against Rumble, who's a bigger uh, version of Manawa. He's a better wrestler than Manawa and probably hits harder than Manawa. So he, you know, he, he just he'll do what he did to uh, to Rumble to Manawa because it's the same fight pretty yeah. much. What that does, what that does in the meantime. That keeps DC uh, busy, of course. It keeps him earning championship money. He gets another main event in the pay-per-view. He gets more pay-per-view points. He gets more defenses. Because we all know, as soon as Jones comes back, he's getting a, an immediate title shot. Well, this just gives uh, DC, I'm not saying he's going to lose to Jones, but it just gives him a longer title run and more defenses. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's a smart move. And it doesn't even matter. In reality, if you want to look at from a pure financial standpoint, okay, and it seems like DC is just – something's happened with him in the past year that he just seems to be really marketing himself the right way. He seems to be on the straight and narrow when it comes to – you know, starting to collect fans and, you know, he's doing the right thing. That moment, we talked about it last week, of him in the in the cage and going from side to side was just truly incredible. Like, a really incredible moment where he was talking shit to Jimmy, then he went to John Jones, he wouldn't let either one of them come in the cage, took court, really amazing moment for him in terms of building fans because that, that, was, that was when I turned and legitimately went, holy shit, I can't wait to see DC talk again. Not only fight, but talk again. But from mm -hmm. a business standpoint, technically... You know, if you're DC's manager, I don't. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe this is just an ignorant statement. But aren't you kind of going shit? John Jones, uh, you know, comes back. You know, DC beats him. No matter what, they get a third fight out of that. That is the absolute ideal, most money making scenario. Is you set up John Jones and then an immediate rubber match with John Jones right after. 
No, oh, yeah, I mean, that would be something. I mean, I, and I just want to go back to Manor just quickly and say, listen, I'm in no way, shape or form disparaging Manor, Manor's abilities because I can just see all the UK fans going, what the fuck, man, you should support him. I just I just think he's going to be at a wrestling disadvantage. Manor can definitely knock him out. But going back to what you said, yeah, I mean, I, I never even thought of that. That's a really, really good point. I mean, as you said earlier, Jones didn't look that good against, um, what's his face, uh, OSP. Just didn't look that good. He had problems pulling the trigger. Now he's at even longer away. He's just coming off a suspension as well, you know, for, you know, call it what you will. He, he, he got flagged for USADA. Now, who knows? Was he using? Was he not using? I don't know. Let's not get into that. But that could have a negative effect. Uh, he didn't look good when he initially came back. So momentum is on DC's side. If DC can pull it off, because as you said, he is getting better and better. He's growing into being a champion. Um, yeah, that would be huge because they would be one-on-one. That would set up the rubber match. Oh, yeah. That, that would be just absolutely massive because Jones could have the perfect excuse. Listen, I was rusty, this and that, but I've got that out of the way. I've blown off the cobwebs, so I'm back. I'm going to show you what I can really do, and they'll have all this bullshit talk. So, yeah, no, very, very, very interesting times for the light heavyweight division, even though really now the light heavyweight division is just Rumble, even though he's gone. DC Jones and Manawa, I mean, that's pretty much all you got now. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you know, I, I'll say the thing that I like about um, DC is he's just he seems to have figured out um, how to get the fans to kind of turn for him now. And I'm, I'm reading some of these tweets. I don't know if you if you read through all the tweets. He trolled Jimmy Manoa so hard. Um, I mean, just Go on, yeah, read I mean, them out. Oh uh, yeah, I'll read some. So I get uh, Jimmy. Jimmy bring them up now. Yeah, Jimmy really started. He said, uh, "Take the fight, Daniel." Then Daniel Cormier said, I did. I'll smash you any day, bum. You'll get embarrassed. You and I both know it. Now you get what you asked for. You won't last a round. Then Jimmy wrote, after all that barking, uh, DC trying to duck the fight. DC responds with, have you lost your mind? I was working last weekend, but immediately said, yes, Jimmy, come get it. You're a bum. You won't see the second round. Wow, I get on here and you're yapping your mouth this morning. Let's make a deal. No wrestling, no kicking. I'll beat you straight boxing, chump. Mm. And then he starts posting pictures of Jimmy Manuel being punched in the face by Rumble, being laid out completely by Gustafson. Um, he wrote, signed the deal. Uh, he wrote, uh, Jimmy Manuel likes to take naps in the octagon, LOL. His troll game is very strong. Michael Bisping, did you teach him anything about your troll game? I, I did not. I cannot take credit, unfortunately. Um um, yeah, yeah, good for him. Well, that's what he needs to do. I mean, it's only natural, to be honest. And that's what we were talking before about Demetrius. Yeah. That's what he needs to do. When when uh, someone's talking shit and you're going to fight, you typically you respond. I mean, never in a million years do you see a fight in the street where someone talks shit and then they talk back and then, then they get into a fight. That's the natural progression of things. So when you've got two guys that are going to fight, when they talk, you respond. I just don't understand why people don't do that. That's how fights happen. That's how fights get made. That's how interest gets generated for these fights. So DC should be doing that. Should be fun leading up to it. Can't wait to see.